and welcome to today's lesson on text features. Now, not just any old text features, but text features we can find in an informational or nonfiction story. And even more in particular, in the one in your reading book today. You're going to be reading about sea otter pups, which is super adorable. There's a lot of great information in this story, and including a lot of extra tiny text features to help you get the most out of this story that you possibly can. So we're going to review some text features, what they are, so when you're reading the story today, you can find them. So text features, if we remember, include headings, fact boxes, graphs, maps, speech bubbles, and more. Headings tell what part of a, te what part of a text is about. They can help you find information, and a fact box tells special information about that topic. Well, I'm not sure about a fact box on this page, but I sure do see two headings. Do you see them? They're the large purple words above each little section, and they're going to tell you, so if you're looking for information quickly, maybe for a research paper, you can find it. So where do sea otters live? That'll probably tell you where it lives. A newborn pup. It'll probably tell you about pups. So those are headings. Graphs organize information in a way that makes things easy to see and understand. We've done graphs and maps. I wonder if there are any graphs in this story and what it might tell us about sea otters. Speech bubble shows what a character is saying or the character's dialogue. They might make some funny jokes and have the sea otter saying something to help you remember, but I don't think this story might have them. That's something you might see more in a, like a comic book or a graphic novel. Uh, as a way of pulling the reader in. Maps are small pictures of big places. So I see we have kind of a double map going on here where it shows the whole world and then the red box means they zoomed in and put that zoomed in spot here to show where the sea otters live. It says where sea otters live is highlighted kind of in that light green. So they live along these places in the Pacific Ocean. Also, fun fact, you see otters can be found here in Washington. A visual is a picture, drawing, or illustration. It looks like most of this book, this story, has pictures in it. Photographs or photos are pictures taken with a camera. Captions are words or sentences about the picture. Diagrams are pictures with labels that tell what each part is. So, the photo and the caption. The one example I have here is a photograph with labels, so it points to different things in the picture so you know what they're talking about. I bet you we could find one with a, a caption too for you. Maybe not in this story. And finally, graphics. Our pictures, symbols, or other visuals, some graphics like numbered steps guide readers around the page. So sometimes there's steps, or you might see big arrows pointing you in a certain direction or trying to get your attention. You'll see those a lot in different informational stories. So when you're reading, keep track of all those text features you find and see what extra information it teaches you. Alright, have fun reading about sea otters everyone!